Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review, this time for Bandai's MetaBuild Keller Vouch Option Set. Alright, so before the start of this review, I had to find out how to pronounce the word because uh, Keller Vouch is not a common word. Uh, so I managed to find out that it's called Keller Vouch, which is quite an interesting word to pronounce actually. Um, so uh, this is a, a second reissue, okay, this is the second uh, release of this uh, weapon set because the first set was so popular and so high in demand that it was sold out uh, very quickly and I didn't, I didn't manage to get the first one uh, but I was lucky you know, to get the uh, second release of this uh, weapon uh, through a friend's uh, contact in Japan, uh, grateful for that. Uh, this weapon is not cheap, it costs close to 50 US dollars uh, just buying it from Japan itself. So if you're factoring shipping and certain secondary costs, uh, I think you easily have to spend about 70 US dollars a piece. Uh, right now the price may be higher, but uh, let's get to that later. So uh, before I get to the review, let's show you this box. A uh, very nice box. Okay, it shows you the uh, Ail Strike, uh, Strike Gundam and uh, Astray Red Frame with how they actually use this weapon. Very cool, small box set. Alright, so the side goes to the box. Uh, we just look at the content. Alright, so this is what it comes with. Okay, the weapon and the accessories that comes with it. So basically, uh, this entire set is purely plastic. So there's no die cast content to it at all. Uh, it's just metal built because it's part of a accessory set for the metal build series. So right here we see the main weapon, attachment set, and another attachment set. This is the uh, shoulder part for AO Strike, the backpack for AO Strike Gundam as well. Uh, and this is the green part just for you to rest uh, the weapon when it's in sword mode. Alright, and we're going to go through the instructions also. So the instructions are very nice. Uh, it's folded because of the box size. But you do see the focus of this is the AO Strike Gundam. Uh, fully colored and you see the uh, different um, configurations you can have for the weapon which I'll go through uh, in detail later all right and uh, if you want to form the uh, massive um, uh, combination you want with the Gundam so basically you need to get uh, for this combination you get to get five pieces of it uh, for this configuration, you get six pieces of it. So the maximum pieces I think you need to get to go to form the uh, crazy configuration that you want is probably six pieces. And uh, over here, if you want uh, a double blade for both arms, you probably need eight pieces. So yeah, the maximum that you can have for this piece is probably eight pieces. You want to form you know a ginormous uh, configuration, or you might even go more than eight pieces. Alright, so I just want to put this aside first uh, and I'll refer you from time to time. So this is the uh, weapon set, so just take this out first so we'll go through the weapon. Uh, first off, okay, this entire weapon, like I said, is plastic but uh, I am very impressed by the amount of details uh, on this piece. You can see coloring wise, design wise, uh, details wise, it is awesome. No, it really leads up to the name of being a metal build. Uh, accessory it's really cool very nice all the sculpting is really cool um, if you have seen the uh, master grip version of the calibre you will see that the design is much more simpler so uh, what metal build does for the usual Gundam design they, they tend to uh, exaggerate uh, and add in more details and probably redesign the original weapons um, a lot more so that you know it looks more impressive and uh, more menacing and more awesome all right so for this configuration now we see have this uh, on the weapon on its own um, you can also form the gun okay you can just collapse this okay you can just collapse it over here this packs in all right and this you just you no know, collapse it you can see this pack goes into this uh, over here and then this black pack will pack into here you can see over here underneath so it clips on. So this now it can be a sword on its own and then if you push the handle down, this becomes a gun. Cool right? Pretty cool. This becomes a gun. Alright, and uh, if you were to pluck out this, what? Okay, this, this portion, alright? You're gonna form this as a handle and then you're gonna configure it this way. Okay, let me just check the configuration, how it's done. Ah, okay, so the configuration is as such. 
Okay, you just have to, okay, for this part, okay, you gotta pull this out because we make sure because this is a delicate part. This grey plastic here is delicate. So in order for you to slot this in, you gotta push it in here. I would recommend you be very, very careful and very gentle. So what we're gonna do is just aim properly. Alright, and then as you go in, slowly, slowly wriggle it in, wriggle it in, wriggle it in. Maybe for this, you just have to get this out first. Alright, wriggle it in. So once it's completely in, okay, lock in place. And then you lock this in place, you lock this in place. Alright, and there you have this long, massive sword. Really impressive, you no know, long, massive sword. This is like a very nice uh, configuration you can have for the color vouch. Okay, I like this piece and how the pieces are aligned very nicely, you know, the blade. It's really cool. Yeah, just be careful because this part can be a little bit fragile. So we just want to make sure we don't break anything in the uh, while we are transforming this. So the first time that I slot in, it was uh, really tough to go in. So you need to have a lot of patience. But uh, as you pull it in and out a couple of times, it becomes smoother. Uh, so you have less problem trying to fit in. It can be a nightmare. It can be quite scary to push it in and not wondering whether you break anything or not. Yeah, but this is how it is. And then you have this accessory part, okay? This accessory part is uh, used when you want to have a double sword. So you want to have a double blade. So what you're going to do, you got to plug this in over here. So you just need to put it here. All right, it needs a little bit of force. And there you have it inside. All right, it's sitting very tightly. Okay, you can push it a little bit more, yeah. Holds really tight. So if you have another color vouch, okay, what you can do is just slot two color vouch over here and then the gun then can hold this weapon. But uh, even having one color vouch on this handle, it feels really, really heavy. And I'm not sure whether uh, the arm, okay, of the figure can actually support this weight. You probably need a support stand to actually hold this uh, weapon if you want to pose it in a very dynamic pose. Um, if not, uh, you know, I don't think the arm can support the weight of this uh, color vouch single color vouch. So imagine if you have two color vouch and you want to hold a weapon, it's going to be really heavy. I'm pretty sure the arm cannot support the weight. All right, so this attachment set is just for, for you to form the long weapon. All right, very, very long weapon. Uh, it, it feels similar to the uh, Axia Avalanche uh, long sword, but this is of course a lot longer and uh, design-wise more complicated and a lot more impressive. So we're going to pluck it out, just uh, pull it out in the outward motion and pull it out slowly, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle it out. Yeah, that's it. Okay, even this handle attachment does look really nice, nicely designed. Uh, the details of the imprint of the red and the silver on this. Pretty cool. I'll put this back here. So more on the color vouch, I am going to convert it to its different configuration. First, let me just get this out very slowly, very gently. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wouldn't want to break anything. So I'm just gonna wiggle it out slowly. Okay, got it out. Cool. Whoa. Now plug this out as well. All right. So when you plug this out, you know you have this. Uh, you can actually just form a simpler looking gun this way. Even a simple looking gun for the color watch for this configuration is quite nice in my opinion. All right. So this is now our configuration, and then for the blades itself, uh, you just need to collapse this. Okay. This green slots in. Pull out the handle. You have one blade. And then similarly for the other one, push this in. Okay, get the handle out and you have another one. So uh, you see that these two blades are different. Okay, one is longer, this longer one, this is shorter one. And also you can see the handle here can bend to a greater angle, probably uh, from bottom to up around maybe 130 or 45 degrees. This is more like 90 degrees. So how the Gundam holds the weapon is as such, you know, it goes underneath the arm, the hand, sorry. So you can see over here the difference in these two apart from the length. Okay, you can see that over here it has jagged edges. It has jagged blades over here. Okay, it's one single long one. And this is a single uh, straight blade rather than a jagged one. So this is very interesting as well. And another thing you can do for this, you can actually combine these two blades together. All you need to do is put this together. All right, over here. Okay, and it's all fit in this way. Let me see the configuration and do it correctly. Yeah, so it fits in this way. Okay, so we got the uh, Gundam can actually hold the sword. Let me see, based on I think it holds uh, not this way, it holds this way. Yeah, so underneath it holds it over here, and this is the front part, right? 
I might want to do it this way. Yeah, it probably looks nicer if I have this configuration this way. If the, uh, in the instructions, it says leave it, uh, leaves the blade this way. But I think if you're the whole one is a combined blade, probably this handle is not really necessary for you to be in front. You probably just push it back and it looks better this way. Yeah, this doesn't hold really tight, okay? But uh, it holds decently tight enough for it not to fall off, as you can see. All right, so I'm gonna pull it off. You can see, I pull it off very pretty easily. All right, so I'm just gonna combine this back here. Press this back here. Okay, I'm gonna push this back into here. So you slot it back into here. All right, okay. Over here. Slot it back. And then we just pull this out, this double jointed over here. And then we have the default configuration of the color box. Again, cool. All right, so how the color box can be used uh, also, let me just bring another accessory. So this is attachment accessory, a different attach, uh, accessory attachment, okay? Of how you can attach the color watch to it. So over here, uh, okay, you have to, in order for the color watch to go in, you have to, you have to slot it in this way. So the first few times I tried, I, I, it's a little, little bit difficult because you can't really see the uh, hole inside here. You, you are really like just putting it here and then blindly trying, trying. So you need to wriggle, wriggle, wriggle this a little bit and then you probably just find a sweet spot and you push it in and there you have it. See? Sweet spot. All right. So you can raise this uh, blade up, the color watch up this much. Okay. For it look this way and then you can also extend it this way as well. Okay, for a different configuration. All right. It's really cool. So you can see over here, the pack the handle goes into here, there's actually a uh, um, slot over here, but it's not easy for you to get the slot in. So how you want to get it out, okay, you need to wriggle it, okay. Okay, you need to wriggle it, you can hear the snap sound, release it. So you can see over here, once you pull it out, you can see the slot over here for you to fill it in. It's not easy to fill it in, uh, even from this configuration. Yeah, the, probably, the best way actually to, I found out is actually to have it all the way uh, inside flush inside and then for the handle wise you just have to try uh wriggle it a little bit and you feel a sweet spot and you push it in yeah and it holds really really well see it holds really really well so this is how you get the color watch um to sit in nicely over here all right and then for, depending on who uh how you want to configure it there's this uh shoulder attachment uh, meant for uh, Aero Strike Gundam. Okay, so you put it in over here. Okay, depending on you put it on the right or left shoulder, or you can even put one or two of this, you can configure it uh, however you like it, uh, depending on how you want to pose it. All right, plug this out. And there's also one that allows you, this is a uh, additional backpack, additional backpack that allows you to actually uh, plug it into Aero Strike Gundam so that this uh, color pouch can actually fit in at the back. So you fit in over here. Again, you can see, it depends on how you want to configure it the the um, possibilities are quite luminous okay you can see that you can have a lot of whole, whole lot of articulation that uh, you can do just take note i think if you play around with this too much you probably loosen the joints uh, so you have to take a take a little bit of notice on that so over here you can see another movement over here on the joint itself so it's pretty cool yeah, so it depends on how you want to configure it. You probably uh, need at least two pieces of this to do a very nice looking uh, wing. Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. So I, I do like the Bandai gives you uh, all this weapon set. Uh, and I think uh, the way moving forward for Bandai, they probably release a lot more weapon set like they did uh, with uh, recently this launch the uh, launcher parts. Uh, yeah. Launcher weapon set for uh, Aero Strike. And very soon we'll probably see the sword launcher uh sword uh weapon pack as well and i think moving forward they want to do more different weapon packs for ail strike gundam or for s3 uh they can probably do it if they want to because the weapon packs now the days that what bandai does is they, they make it um they make it such a way they give you parts that allow you to use the weapons on the different gundam even though they have different backpacks so i think it's a very smart strategy of bandai to do that and I think it gives us collectors a lot more playability and possibilities of how we want to pose it, uh, how we want to display our, our figure. Uh, and and for this color vouch, I personally think, you know, if you were to get it, you you should at minimum get two of this, okay, for it to make more, uh, for it to be, um, I think, um, 
for you to display your Gundam in a more uh, impressive uh, form because if you have two, you can actually use one on each side to form on the wings for example over here I'm a very um, symmetrical person so for me, I'll definitely want to have two of these if I want to form this wing looking thing uh, on the uh, Aeo Strike Gundam and uh, but then if you are someone who doesn't really care about symmetry you'll probably be happy with just one of it or you maybe maybe you just even use the color watch just as a weapon rather than as a wing attachment so it really depends on your preference on how you do it so bandai really gives you the possibility of how you want it uh, but i'm very sure with all the um, very nice uh, marketing picture that they put up some of you will probably be tempted to uh, come up with this configuration uh, it looks really really impressive to be honest uh, and whether is it on the uh, jetpack or is it on the Gundam itself it looks really really impressive all right so this is a um, not expensive weapon set okay expensive weapon set but uh, if you are a true um, metal build fan I think you're gonna like it a lot and uh, since they already done a second release of this even though it's a second batch i'm quite doubtful that banda is going to reissue this um, at all um, so far they have not reissued any of their weapons that they have released uh, but you can never be sure you can never be sure you know maybe they might even release this in a different color if they want to uh, but based on my um, memory if I if I were to start the weapon set from the um, the riser, they have never reissued it on its own before. So even the riser, you know, even with the uh, release of the uh, seven sword G, one would expect that they might reissue the riser so they can form the double riser, but they didn't do it. So instead of that, they actually reissued the double O riser designer blue version, right? Uh, so yeah, I was thinking about our weapon set that they did. You know, they did the seven sword G. Uh, gun launcher once they didn't reissue that they probably wouldn't do it since it wasn't that popular anyway um and then they did the gun barrel gun barrel is probably a recent release uh maybe too early for them to do a reissue but probably not gonna do it uh and then we have the uh gun launcher set which is just recently the po just the pre-order just recently opened and closed uh and i think yeah the next one will be the sword launcher set yeah so okay so for all you of you metal build fans if you like to you know create you no know, crazy impressive looking metal build figure with accessories i think this is the one for you do get uh, at least two or not more than that if you want to so here's charles signing off with yet another toy review i hope you guys have enjoyed it do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time